Oh dear. What? What's happened? Oh dear. I don't know if you can see that way. Whoops. From where you are. It actually says uh, tire pressure notification. You can continue to drive, but your tire pressure is low. Well, I will continue to drive because I don't know how to do the tires on this. I'm not playing the dumb blonde thing, but Jesus Christ. It, sorry, that's blaspheming. It's just the the tire pressures are written somewhere in the door and the lovely guy who sold me this mini, well, he didn't sell it to me. He actually um, leased it to me in Mini Park Lane. They're closed. So, um, I will be driving. It says I can drive uh slow right i'll be driving slowly actually i have no opportunity no well i can drive faster because i'm in london there's less traffic but today they have increased the congestion charge uh, so that more cyclists can actually cycle in this city don't even get me started right this isn't a nice positive way to start my vlog is it so, Matilda and I, I, I want this. I'm going to put the window up. Last time I recorded when I was driving, there was an awful lot of. The sticky thing where I stick this camera has come unstuck because of the heat. In those few days of sun, I left my car in the sun, so that sticky pad isn't really sticking the camera down. And when I last filmed last week's vlog, there was a lot of background noise from this engine so I'm really sorry about this gosh it's a terribly negative way I'm starting the vlog um, Matilda and I are heading over to Holland Park because my accountant is there and I have to drop my oh gosh I've got to open this window it is so hot out which is lovely I have to drop my uh, accounts off and he isn't going to be there he's working from home but I think he goes and collects them and then takes them home I don't really know so that's my Monday morning to start now the reason I don't mind is a he's a nice man actually but I'm not going to meet him but god can't you see every all the traffic starting to come back into London um but he lives or his office is in Holland Park and it means I can take Matilda for a little walk in Holland Park on a beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. So that is a bonus to start the week like that. Isn't it? You in a good mood today, Matilda? Yes? I'm at Baker Street and it's almost the same as it was before lockdown. So yeah, very much. Everything's back to normal, Tilde. Here we go. leap out of the car because that was <laughs> I'm in Holland Park and that was the peacock there's loads of peacocks here that just wander around but I've never seen one in the car park before anyway I've just dropped all my uh, stuff off of my accountants and now I'm going to take Matilda for a quick walk I love it here I haven't been here since last summer
will recognise this is um, Holland Park Open Air Theatre, which is obviously closed. And um, I've been here to see operas and concerts and films. Matilda's been coming here since she was a puppy. The reason I love this park is there's a designated dog run, where, which is wood chipped, so they can just run like the um, New York City used to have, or still does have dog parts, that's, you know, for dogs with wood chip and they can run around and do whatever. Um, but anyway, this is amazing. I have never actually seen it open like this. It's usually always got a roof on um, and an auditorium, but no, it's open now. At least it's open. that what um, really amuses me about Holland Park and I'd forgotten is all the nannies are out with the children so this is a very if you're not from London you won't know this is a very wealthy area and very residential for very wealthy families and uh, yeah the whole park is full of nannies and children so these must be living nannies because um, obviously they're um, they're out with the children in lockdown. It's wonderful to see how the other half live. There's Matilda waiting patiently. Hello. I it's in the morning. It's what is it? Friday morning and I'm in work very very early. It's about 10 past nine and I don't usually come in until about midday or 11 o'clock. The reason I'm here is uh, to link up with BBC Sussex and Surrey because Neil Pringle, who is working, who's worked there for, gosh, as long as I have been broadcasting, he's been broadcasting from there. In fact, Neil gave me the Brighton Breakfast Show. I have a lot to thank him for. So um, he's, it's his last day at BBC Sussex, so I am um, linking up with him. I think I might be a surprise, or I may be, I'm not that much of a surprise, am I? But we're doing it on what we call an ISDN line, so um, we dial up Sussex, and then I speak to him. Now, you won't be able to hear this, but if you want to hear his last show on BBC Sussex, go to BBC Sounds, and it was on Friday. So here we go then. Oh, hope this goes, I want to do him proud. He was brilliant, brilliant. Thing about him is I think he actually, he could run this whole desk. Not that many editors know how to work the equipment, but Neil Pringle in Sussex had literally put every plug on every computer and every desk. So if anything went wrong, he knew exactly what to do, which is quite rare for an editor. Anyway, enough praise of Neil Pringle. Here we go. Well, I'm back at my mum's in Sussex. Um, all in all, it has been a, a bit of a hectic week. Um, I didn't talk on my radio show about this because um, I know uh, how concerned people are who actually um, follow my life avidly and particularly the life of my mother. Um, but there was a bit of... Um, an emergency this week which has involved me driving up and down from London to Sussex. Um, when I say an emergency, best thing I do is um, show you. Follow me. I do need um, my mask and my gloves because I can't actually go in the house. Well I have been going in the house but not in the room that she's in. Um, it's like you know we just... well let me explain. Matilda, should we go and see Moots? We'll go and see Moots.
Oh dear. What? What's happened? Well, you know very well what's happened. <coughs> so, what have you actually done, Mutty? I'm drawing my own curtains up in the bedroom. What? And then I got the forward vertigo thing and fell. But between that Ottoman thing and that, and that's what trapped it all in. I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> so, but what is it? Is it a sprain? No, it's broken the collarbone across there. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know if that sling is on properly, to be it honest. It certainly isn't on properly. Is but... that, well that's the best, the carers will be here soon. Yeah, just as well. <laughs> well that's put an end to the gardening for a bit. Well it certainly has. So, Hasn't it, Matilda? So, uh, yes, well it has been quite an eventful week. We went back and forth, did it, two hospitals you've been to. Yes, I put him well in the hospital first, and then I had to, I got nice and comfortable in there, got to know them, everything, and then the next day, they said, oh, we're moving you down to, to the other one, and um, because they wanted me to be attended by the, the um, physiotherapist that I knew from before when I had the stroke. But when I got to the hospital, it was really funny, it was quite good. They were like a reception committee there. And they all say, oh, we remember you when you were here before and all that. And really, I felt quite VIP arriving for it. It was quite good. So just to sum up then, what's the injury? For goodness sake, it's fractured across there somewhere. It's the collarbone that's there, but it, of course, it's not very good because it's not making me able to hold the walker properly or anything. You, your balance is all weird when one thing goes, so it's a bit irritating altogether. That's it. Never mind, Matilda's here. Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you, Matilda? She's... Matilda! <laughs> yes, you, you're wondering what's going on, aren't she you? She is, you're she really good. is. Yes. Yes, uh, it's a broken collarbone. Which um, looks, and probably is, which is extremely painful and extremely worrying. But uh, my mother is extraordinary. Oh gosh, where's the sun? There we are. My mother is extraordinary. She's had so many falls. She has had a massive stroke and um, she just doesn't want to be a bother. So... Um, she just gets on with it, and I learn from her every single day. So anyway, well, the sun's come out, and, uh, oh, you know I was telling you about the petunia, not the petunia, the peonies. Look at the peonies. Now, you see, this time last year, I didn't even recognize a peony. I didn't even know what a peony was. I'm getting very good at it. Um, right. I am going to finish here. I will see you on Wednesday. Please don't worry about my mother. I know you'll be sending loads of messages to her. I do read her all the messages. Um, she's got lots of people looking after her and um, she has an extraordinary attitude towards life. So um, let's hope it heals quickly. Please subscribe, <laughs> give us a thumbs up and um, I will see you Wednesday for the Midweek Minx. Bye.